Alright people, what is up? Welcome to the third video of PLR Powerhouse which concerns editing your graphics and mini sites that you've received in your PLR product. So uh, there's a lot to get over so let's go ahead and get started on this video. In this video what we're going to be doing is taking PSD files that are part of the PLR products that we bought and we're going to change them up to uh, be ours. We want the graphics in the PLR products that we purchased to look a little bit different because uh, we're going to be creating our own unique mini sites with our own unique products. But luckily, if PLR, usually the PLR products that we purchase, uh, they do, like I said, they come with their own graphics and those can just be modified a little bit. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to throw the whole thing out and restart over. It just takes a, a few quick edits and you'll be good to go. The PLR product that you purchased it should have some PSD graphics for you to play around with. Once we've modified those graphics and made them look unique, we're going to be ready to put the new graphics on our site. So we have two options for software if you want to edit these graphics, the PSD graphics. One is of course Adobe Photoshop, which has a PSD extension, but that's not free. It can cost quite a bit of money, especially for newbie and marketers who don't want to throw the bank at things. The other option we have is GIMP. GIMP is free, it's quick, it's easy to use. Either one of those works for editing these graphics files. We're going to alter the look of the mini site and graphics included with the PLR product. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So I'm just going to show you the two products right quick, the first one being GIMP. Here's what GIPS looks like. It stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's free, it's effective, it's really good, and uh, we're going to be able to use it effectively to modify the PLR images. So that's the first program. The second one is Photoshop. Now, if you do have Photoshop, it is probably one of the most powerful programs I know. It can image modification just becomes a snap. And while I don't claim to be a Photoshop expert, I know for a fact that people use this. Oops, let's just get rid of that. I know that people use this to modify programs in and out all the time. So here's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And you can just open up images, get to work on them, and before you know it, you'll, they'll be completely brand new. Uh, a lot of, I know lots of professional graphics designers that vouch for this program and love this program. But for those of you who won't be getting GIMP, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm sorry, for those of you who won't be purchasing Photoshop, let me go ahead and show you where to download GIMP. Spell it G-I-M-P. And click on the first link in the search results. It's uh, The current release at the time of this video is 2.8. All you have to do is uh, click download, you know, extract, follow the instructions. It's pretty fast, it's simple, uh, it's nothing complicated about it at all. So that's where you go ahead and get uh, the GIMP program. It's again, once again, it's completely free and it's a great tool. However, if you do choose to go uh, the path of installing GIMP on your computer, know that it doesn't end there. There's one particular plugin that you need to. Uh, purchase. I'm sorry, one particular plugin that you need to download before you can uh, start using GIP. And my bad about that, it's actually completely free. So let's, uh, this, what this plugin does is let us apply layer effects and visual effects to uh, the graphics that we're working with so your site can end up looking more attractive in the end. The GIMP layer effects plugin is what it's called. Okay, so this is what the, uh, the page looks like. And as of the 4-12-2012 edit, there, let me see, these three plugins here. 
Um, there's the script foo version and the Python version. The Python version is a little bit more complicated to install. I ended up going with a layer FX SCM version. So once you go ahead and click that there, you're going to download a little file called LayerFXSCM that should appear in your downloads folder. And it's right there. I actually took it out of my downloads folder and placed it here before the video. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with using that. So the installation instructions are as follows. We're going to walk through it together just so everyone um, isn't confused. Long story short, here's how you do it. Go to Edit, Preferences. Once the Preferences uh, window appears, go down to the Folders option and maximize it. Click on your Scripts folder and you should be, two folders should appear for you to uh, install the script file in. Either one of them works just fine. So all I had to do was just follow the steps. copy paste so that's the, all there is to it now once you've uh, put that file in the scripts folder you're ready to get started uh, editing the PLR template let me just show you uh, what GIMP is for those of you who will be using the free program uh, here's the main window where you can open up and edit your files let's try and open up a file right now so here's some Photoshop design style, uh, Photoshop files that we can open up in GIMP. Let's open up the header here. PLR video profits. Now your toolbox and your tool options are on the right. Uh, there's all sorts of things like the paintbrush, the eraser, pencil. You can just uh, all sorts of tools for graphic designer right there. Now here on the right side is something very important. It's called a layers folder. You see, for images such as these, they, uh, the, there are things called layers which uh, separate each certain little graphical aspect of the, uh, of the total completed image. For example, if I was to make one layer invisible, the five day crash course layer, which is, uh, which is equivalent to the text here, five day crash course, See that uh, once that layer is visible, the text is now gone. And here is some other text. Discover how to harness the power of private label video, etc. You can make that vanish. You can make the video icon layer vanish and the sparkle effects vanish. There's actually several of them. Make that the PLR video text vanish, the graph vanish, the bar, pretty much the whole image. And then, of course, I can bring it all back. That's actually an important concept for people who are going to be doing their own graphic design for these mini sites. You need to know how layers work. Let's go ahead and open up the same thing in Photoshop. Okay, excuse me. So here is a PSD folder where PLR Video Products, uh, PLR Video Profits has its PSD files. And I went ahead and created a folder called Modified PSD Files, which is where we are going to be saving the files after uh, we've been modifying them. So let's go ahead and order a few, let's go ahead and open a few of them so you can see.
These are the ones that we're going to be modifying right now. So with Photoshop, it's actually pretty simple. Um, to give you a sort of overview of how it works again, there are layers to everything. And to uh, modify the different aspects of a design, we have to modify the layers. So one by one, let's go through. We're going to start changing stuff up. Here's the, the background of the squeeze page and sales page. We're going to edit the text to go from PLR video profits to PLR video payday. We're also going to rotate it just a little bit. Oops. So it looks more like that. For the footer, we are going to, once again, uh, do some modifications here. Starting with the text. So we're going to change that up. Harness the power of private label video suit. Discover the great power of PLR videos. Also, let's change up the text and get rid of these sparkles because they're kind of annoying to me. I'm just going to get rid of those and change it up from PLR video profits to PLR video payday. Get rid of the squiggly line in the back. I'm just going to go down to the layer where that's quick the line is and get rid of it. We're also going to change the background's color. But first, let's also get rid of that video icon. We're going to bring in something else, which is something I'm going to open. We have the test video transparent on. Oops. So we got a control A to bring in new uh, images make sure that they're transparent before you do anything and you hold down control A to select it and control C to copy oh my bad you want to make sure you select the right layer as well Let me delete these two layers control A and control C to select then we go to the PSD and click paste as well as modify that image to make it smaller. Now here's what we're going to do. Let's go to test video transparent. Modify the size from there to be about 125 pixels. Let's see if it fits. Still just a tad too big. So go back to this. Once again, we're going to edit the size. Control A and Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And that'll do it. So, and then to top it off, we want to let's modify the background color. So I'll just get rid of. Yeah, the bar. And the text discovered a great power of PLR video. We're going to use a gradient tool on the target layer. To modify the color and make it look a little bit more attractive. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring this stuff back. <laughs> Should rename that layer as well. It's a uh, the proper one. We'll do that later. So let's go with a great power PLR video. No, let's get rid of the icon and the bar and that's pretty much it that's all I've got to do and the result is a different looking footer so now we're going to go ahead and do that for the header as well <clears throat> so once again we're going to need to change up some of the text on here let's start with discover how to harness the power of private label videos. Like we just said, discovery great power of PLR videos. So let's go across that. Let's discover how the great power. Oh whoops, you should have this in initial caps. So that's for that layer. Now we're going to change the title again. Get rid of these sparkles. Get rid of the video icon. We are going to change the image size to 175. Oops, undo that. Open it again so it's better quality. Control and Control C. Put it in place. So that's the new layer. We gotta change our five day crash course to. Drop that down a little bit to uh, 14 point. There, it looks alright. And now let's also change up the background as well, just how we did before. So, we've already edited most of the other stuff, the text, so now it's time to change the background. Get rid of everything else. You're gonna apply the gradient to the background. First, you gotta select the background layer before you can do anything there. So now that it's selected, bring it on in. Just give it that splash of color. And after that, we're back. So that's what it's going to look like. Let's also change up some of the other minor details. Such so as text here. Discover how to use private label videos to build your business and increase profits. ready to build a thriving business. There we go. 
Moving on. PLR video profits. We're just going to change up the text here. Keep it simple. Okay, so that's what the new button will look like. We're also going to use a text modifier again to modify this text. Let's change that up. Excuse my spelling. I'll teach you how to get hungry buyers. And keep. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, all right, that's, uh, once you get the hang of Photoshop and GIMP, it's actually pretty simple to start modifying images, uh, text, banners, and, th and things of that nature. So what I recommend that you do is watch this video again if you need any tips or help or guidance. And there's also a lot of great YouTube videos that will help and teach you how to uh, get the hang of Photoshop as well and GIMP as well. So that's that for now, and we'll see you in the next video when we have this all wrapped up.